In this video, we're going to introduce a second variable and we're going to see how we can make plots and organize the results with respect to multiple variables. We're going to continue off of the line in space simulation that we had set up before. In this case, I'll just review, we have the x pitch of the line as a variable called pitch. Now we have the CD as a, its own variable called CD. CD takes on four values here, 45, 55, 65, 75. So we've got two variables, pitch and CD. Remember that we set our grid our, of uh, dx that's our mask grid to 1.25 nanometers. That allows each edge here to move by 1.25 nanometers or the total size of the line, the width of the line, could be a multiple of 2.5 nanometers. On the source we've changed to an immersion source so we've got 1.35 NA, uh, sorry, on the, uh, the scanner the stepper setup, 1.35 Na and water immersion, annular illumination. Again, no resist model. So now we have two variables and what's going to be interesting is uh, how do we anchor or where do we set our nominal threshold from. So let's start by choosing these as this as my nominal case, which is the smallest pitch and the smallest CD. I'll find my nominal dose, refresh my live view, okay, everything looks good, and I'll press simulate. So this is going to run. This is going to run um, 15 times 4 or 60 cases. So the aerial images are here. Here's our CD. When I plot this, I'm going to, I don't want to plot versus defocus and level because we, the simulator did try different defocuses and it did use different threshold levels. We're going to just use the nominal. So I press this button here that sets them both to nominal. We're going to put pitch on the x-axis and CD on one plot. And you'll see what that does. That makes a plot that looks like this. So. Now you can see how the results are organized with respect to the variables. Here we have pitch on the x-axis, CD, that's what we are plotting, plotting CD versus pitch. Remember we said put pitch on the x-axis. And then we've got CD here which is referring to this variable and its value. And you notice how it figured out which, which data was what. So the, on the data list, um, on the output here we have the CD data and contained in this data is the CD result of all of the simulations through pitch, through focus, through threshold level and through CD. So once again when we plot it it says okay I've got these variables changing how do you want to organize the results and that's what you set up here. Just for fun we could put these on separate plots. So now we've got pitch on the x-axis and CD on separate plots. Okay, so look here. We've got, this is the CD equals 45 case. Here's the CD equals 55, CD equals 65, CD equals 75. So that's another way to plot it. Or let's try one other thing. Let's say we wanted to make bosungs out of this. A bosung puts defocus on the x-axis, it puts the level on one plot, pitch let's put on a matrix plot x-axis, and CD will put on a matrix plot y-axis. So we are going to look at four dimensions of data now. This is four dimensional data. Look at that. So now each one of these is a bosung 
and then you've got pitch on the x-axis and CD on the y-axis on the matrix plot. If I double click one of these I get that bosung. Now before we complete here I want to look at one other thing. So let's let's play around with the um, the threshold to size. So remember we chose this as our nominal and we threshold it to size on that. Let's just make the plot again nominal focus and dose with pitch on the x-axis this on one plot and now you see that we anchored here what if we were to anchor down over here so in other words we'll find our nominal threshold that causes this point to print at its target which is 45 nanometers so we pick this one we set as nominal, go to FEM control, find a new threshold, and then we need to simulate again. Now we plot this. Okay, make sure we are plotting only for the nominal here. And now on this plot, you see that this point is anchored at 45, and this prints larger. So to summarize, when we have multiple variables, the output lets you organize the results in smart ways with respect to those changing variables.